They love me because I feed them. And I love them because they feed me. <laughs> hey, Daddy. What a good girl you are, in Pen. <laughs> they like warm water, but I didn't take the time to heat it up <laughs> at the moment. Hey, girls. They're very vulnerable at night. They completely change personalities. As soon as the sun goes down, they roost. And if they can't get in their hen house, they'll roost in a tree. And they become very quiet and docile. Uh, so at night, they, they come in their hen house and I lock them in, which means I have to get up and get them out in the morning. And they get very loud in the morning if I'm late. <laughs> The main predators are raccoons and fox, and I've heard possum also. Uh, however, I've actually, they've actually spent the night unlocked in their hen house, and no one has approached them. So fortunately, I don't think there are too many predators around here for them. But so far, so good. They've survived me even screwing up and leaving them unlocked a few times. <laughs> they started flying over the fence after they were here for a couple weeks. And I had to look online to see what to do about it. And I had to clip their wings. So that was the first time I really got a hold of each bird. And you have to pull their wing out. You only clip one wing. You pull the wing out. This is the wing that I clipped. You can see that those feathers are clipped off. You clip one wing and it makes them off balance. And that's why they can't fly over the fence. <laughs> they just kind of, it's kind of probably the similar to limping. <laughs> Shall we see if we have any eggs? This is the magic part of having chickens. And oh, yes indeed, we have an egg. And this is Black Beauty's egg. Isn't it beautiful? Mm, nice. <laughs> and they keep appearing. It's like magic. Every day I come out and there are eggs here. <laughs> now, the leader of the pack, Henny Penny, she likes to lay her eggs somewhere else. I already got one egg this morning, so this makes my four eggs for the day. There you go. We want to thank you for taking the time to share the story of your wonderful chickens with us. Uh, Miss Nikki the Chicken Lady, thank you. <laughs> My pleasure. Thank you.